My name is Margaret Campbell and I want to talk to you about my experience using recallers to train my dog Grigri. This is our pack. This is Grigri. He's a poodle papillon, very high energy, high strung dog that we rehomed from an elderly bedridden couple who never took him outside, never gave him any exercise or training, and he was absolutely as wild as a rabbit when we got him. No one could make him come or um, do anything off leash. We trained him in obedience. Um, he's an animal assisted therapy dog. Anything that we can do on leash, he's beautiful at. But the, uh, the distraction and the reinforcement of being off leash is just tremendously appealing to him. So we've worked over the course of a year to manage his environment using the recaller games and particularly crate games so that he makes the right choice every time. I can't say that we've been successful yet. I do not take him off leash when we're out in the woods or on the beach because I think that, pretty sure, that the uh, reinforcement value of the seagulls and the dead crabs and the rabbits and so forth would be too much for him right now. But as the years go by, he gets better and better and his engagement with me gets stronger and stronger. So we have our new puppy, Trixie, um, who's a Shih Tzu, who we're training the right way from the beginning. So I thought we'd just do a little demonstration of how much Trixie loves crate games. You ready, girl? Okay. Hop down. I'm going to do something. <laughs> she likes it so much that she wants to hop in. Come on. All right. Okay, girl. Off. Good girl. Kennel up. There she goes. Okay. And now... Let's see it just rolling her favorite toy by her. She doesn't take the toy, good girl. That's recaller games. Thanks so much, Sue.